Hello, welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma, a homeschooling mum of three in the UK and this is Not Back To School Week. So today we're going to talk about how much home education throughout the day is the right amount. Now, that is a loaded question because it entirely depends on your family, the age of your children, any special needs, what your lifestyle is like. There are so many factors that will change the answer for you and your family and only really you can answer that question. Um, really my answer is as much as you can manage and if that's watching Magic School Bus for a day or that's a really cool amazing science project where you build a robot then that's fine too. Um, but my suggestion would be to find a happy medium between those two that can be achieved long term. So first of all let's look at the school day at a school you can't compare home education to a school as we've talked about before but if you take out the lining up the transitions from one thing to another the changing for pe the lunch time the break time the behavior management that teachers have to do with children and all of the other things excuse me i have an itchy eye um, all of the other things that are school based and that are not relevant to home education the actual amount of pure education that you actually have to do that you have in a school is not as much as you think you're not there they're not there for six hours doing six hours of education so Bessie who is six going on seven probably does and I'm just referring to my notebook here probably does about 40 minutes in total um, broken up into about two slots with a play break in between on days when we are just doing English and maths. Now we are firm believers as I talked about in my eclectic homeschool video about them not starting formal education so not starting compulsory sit down do this with me education until they're six or seven depending on their emotional maturity depending on anything else that's going on and Bessie's had some health issues over the last two years um so uh, the last few years so we've not forced anything but now she's getting to the point where I am saying come on sit down let's get on with this um but we're mainly focusing on the uh, the good old three R's reading writing and arithmetic with her um and anything else um is child-led and with uh, with Charles he's been focusing on reading, writing, arithmetic since he began about 18 months ago, um, two years ago. And um, no, it's about two years ago because he started just before he was seven. Um, so yeah, he's he's now doing more. Um, but again, it's still not compulsory because with those things we are child led. Uh, so Charles will probably do about an hour but again, it's broken up into no more than like 15, 20 minutes per thing. Um, I will even set a timer on my phone and be like, right, when the timer goes off, stop what you're doing. Um, if they're messing around and not, and spending that 15 minutes going ng, 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 and chewing on the pencil or something, then I kind of do be like, <clears throat> guys, get on with it. But other than that, I do just leave, especially Charles, I just leave him to it. Um, a lot of our curriculum stuff is lesson based of our main curriculums. So we just do a lesson of that a day. That might only take, 10 minutes it might take 25 minutes but we just do that lesson um and again if it goes over 20 minutes i'm a bit like mm, let's finish this question up and then stop because i really don't when they start getting tired when they start getting bored they're not taking anything in and there's no point continuing um so what i would suggest that you do is take a look at your days your quieter days you can do more on your busier days do less and just think about how much you actually need to do and then how much in other places you could be child-led if um, that's something you're comfortable with on a monday the kids have forest school so they don't do any english or maths or anything else um, on a Tuesday, it's, our, it's probably going to be our project day going into this year, so they will do either English or Maths, and then they will do their project from the looping basket, which I'll talk about later on in the week. Um, then on a Wednesday, they have swimming, so we just do English and Maths on that day because they're usually quite tired from swimming. A Thursday, we have ballet and rainbows. Uh, rainbows is probably going to be on Zoom. 
for the super future so they will do english and maths during the day and potentially something from a looping basket if um we haven't got it done on the tuesday and then on Friday is nature study day, so they do either English or maths. Um, again, whichever one they did on Tuesday, they do the other one on Friday. And um, then we will do English and maths on Saturday as well. Um, and Saturday is Saturday and Sunday is kind of a catch up. If we've missed a day, then they'll do it Saturday or Sun. They'll do like they'll do it Sunday as well. Um, so this is the end of day one and our how much to do in a week video i'm really excited to share day two with you so come back tomorrow and we can do we can chat some more have a great day bye